Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's video, I'd like to look at the uh, how the USE Minis unfolded yesterday, which would have been Monday, November the 10th. Uh, in particular, I'd like to look at the YM, because there's a good example here of how uh, to make sure you follow uh, different time frames. So let's start with the three minute chart. You can see on the three minute chart, the STF, which is our uh, standard uh, trend indicator, was up. The only setups we had here were a couple of cell setups, which I'll look at a bit later in the video. For the more experienced users, we go to the higher time frame chart, which is the 15 minute chart, and place our DPs, WPTs, elite wave patterns on the higher time frame to gauge the large degree trend. So for this, we would have had a pivot high on the previous day. We placed the decision point on there, and as you can see, uh, the market went up and it went up through that DP uh, level, therefore that would have gauged that the large review trend had not reversed at this particular uh, resistance area and had carried on up. You can see we had at least one, two, quite a few closes uh, above the DP level, therefore that defined the large review trend as up. So let's see how, again, that affects our three minute chart. Again, you can see that we'd only be looking for buy setups. So this is where you have your scanner running, which is the market analyzer and ninja trader. And if you'd done that, you'd have noticed on the five minute chart, you would have had a lovely TS4 buy setup came in here. Let's place the analysis on. <coughs> you can see the market uh, came in here with our correct position sizing and actually went up to a, a tick shy of our first uh, target here. We normally suggest that users, uh, if you are looking to come out at the target, which you would have been because the STF was weak, in other words, it was less than our, less than our strength band, you'd be coming out one tick shy. In other words, you don't come out exactly at the target. You come out uh, one tick before it to make sure that you're actually filled. And as you can see, that would have came out and actually caught the high of the day there very nicely. So that's uh, the first tip for today is if you're trading the USE minis or the DAX or shorter term um, uh, futures markets is make sure you follow different time frames so if you're using the 15 minute for your large degree trend <coughs> make sure you follow the three and the five minute as well because you may not get the trade set up on the three minute but you may well get it on the uh, the five minute um, and that's a good example of that there's our TS4 buy set up there Right, I want to go down to the three minute chart and just show you something that more experienced users uh, could have looked at. The large degree trend was up, okay? There's no deba debate about that. However, going up into this high here, you can see we have, if I do the Elliott Wave Intermediate, you can see we have a five wave sequence. Now I'm not suggesting trying to pick the end of a five wave sequence, particularly when it's against the large degree trend because that's very dangerous. However, what we know from our MT predictor training is that after a completed five wave sequence, the market will very often move down to the DP from the prior wave four. Let's get that out of the way. So if we go back to the prior wave four, which was here, we place our DP level on. Remember, these are leading indicators. <clears throat> so they are on the chart in advance before the market even gets there. You can see that we hadn't reached this particular level. So the market came down, <clears throat> it then retraced back up again, but it hadn't reached our anticipated support level. So if you're in a very, uh, advanced or very aggressive uh, MT predictor trader you could have looked to say okay I might like to take whoops sorry I just placed the analysis on here so I'm trying to do miss that with the mouse I'll look to then take a short trade here on the idea that the target is down here at our first DP level this would have been stopped out from minus one hour loss so you'd have tried it again our history triangle shows the trade set up here this particular example then came in and actually went down to our first target so you'd have had a minus one hour loss to start with, then a plus three hour profit there. But I only suggest doing this if you are experienced, if you are an experienced uh, uh, MT predictor customer. And the main reason for this is because this was a trend that was against um, the large, or a trade that was uh, against the large degree trend, and therefore you'd have to be uh, a lot more aggressive with your trade management. In other words, once you pass the 100% initial risk le level, then I suggest you uh, uh, bring your stop to break even. But I just thought that was worth showing because yet again we had our tendencies unfold. In other words, after a completed five wave sequence, the tendency is for the market to move to the DP from the prior wave four, which is uh, exactly what it did. But if you're a standard trader, the better trade uh, was the TS4 buy setup on the five minute chart because that was in the direction of the large view trend, both in our STF 
and from our 15 minute DPs. So hopefully that's been a good example to show you how MT Predictor customers would have approached um, the USC Minis, in particular the YM yesterday.